The movie begins with a camera moving from a graveyard to an overhead bridge, where Sebastian Valmont, the male lead, is driving a luxury car. Next, we see him relaxing on a sofa in his therapist Dr. Greenbaum's office. He's seeking help for his constant need for excitement and frequent relationships with women. Dr. Greenbaum attributes this behavior to adolescence and poor upbringing and tries to sell him her book on parenting. She gives him an autographed copy and adds the cost to his bill. Sebastian flirts with her, complimenting her and giving her a hug. The conversation is interrupted when the operator informs Dr. Green that her daughter's on the phone. Sebastian notices a photo of Dr. Green's daughter, Marcy, on her desk and starts complimenting her as well. After Sebastian leaves, Dr. Green learns from Marcy that a guy had previously caused trouble for her and shared her photos online. Marcy mentions that this guy had been very complimentary and wanted to take pictures, which matches Sebastian's earlier behavior. Realizing it was Sebastian, Dr. Green chases after him and confronts him, but he ignores her and leaves with another young woman. The scene then shifts to Sebastian's stepsister, Catherine who is hosting Cecile and her mother in their elegant New York home. Cecile is a new student, and Catherine, being popular, offers to help her adjust. Sebastian enters the room and begins flirting with Cecile, but Catherine stops him. Once Cecile and her mother leave, Catherine reveals to Sebastian that her ex-boyfriend, Court Reynolds, left her for Cecile. Catherine's plan is to tarnish Cecile's reputation by encouraging her to have relationships with boys. She wants Sebastian to assist with this plan. However, Sebastian declines, saying he's focused on someone else, Annette, the headmaster's daughter, who is moving in with Sebastian's aunt. Annette is known for her good reputation, and if she remains that way until school starts, she could be a rival to Catherine. Catherine is frustrated and makes a bet with Sebastian. If he fails to seduce her, she will get his 1956 Jaguar Roadster. If he wins, Catherine will sleep with him. She knows Sebastian has been obsessed with her since their parents married and believes he won't be able to win her over. The scene shifts to Annette and Aunt Rosemond, riding horses and talking about their bond. They then discuss how Aunt Rosemond's grandfather used to raise horses on his farm. Sebastian arrives, introduces himself, and suggests that Aunt Rosemond prepare some cold tea for them so he can talk to Annette alone. Sebastian and Annette stroll and discuss her beliefs. Sebastian argues that Annette can't understand love without experiencing it, but Annette retorts that she doesn't expect him to grasp her views, given his reputation. She mentions that someone had warned her about Sebastian's tendency to make grand promises, but only end up with physical relationships. Annette is aware of Sebastian's reputation and expresses her doubts about him. Frustrated by his failed attempts with Annette, Sebastian confides in his friend Blaine. Blaine suggests that Greg, Annette's ex-boyfriend and Blaine's current partner might have said negative things about Sebastian. Meanwhile, Catherine notices Cecile with her music teacher, Ronald, who is sitting very close to her. Catherine sees an opportunity to drive them even closer together. The scene changes to Catherine and Cecile in a park. Cecile talks about how her former boyfriend, Court Reynolds, left her for someone with a mental health issue, not realizing she's talking about Catherine. Catherine is upset, but hides her feelings. Cecile mentions Court's invitation to the Hamptons for the weekend, but expresses her fear of boys since she hasn't been physically intimate with anyone. Catherine reassures her and offers to teach her how to kiss, downplaying any fear. Catherine encourages Cecile to practice kissing with Ronald. Cecile admits that Ronald likes her and often sends her love letters, though she hasn't responded yet. Despite this, she frequently thinks about him. Catherine asks Cecile to bring photocopies of her love letters for advice and promises a meeting with Ronald. Sebastian invites Annette for a swim, but she leaves feeling uncomfortable. Sebastian breaks into Blaine's place, takes photos of Greg, and threatens to ruin his baseball career. Greg denies badmouthing Sebastian to Annette, but agrees to investigate. He later reveals that Mrs. Caldwell is behind the negative comments. Sebastian and Catherine watch a spy cam video of Cecile and Ronald but are disappointed when Cecile leaves early. Catherine plans to show Ronald's letters to Mrs. Caldwell, and Sebastian agrees to help. Sebastian asks Annette out, and she agrees after hearing positive things from Greg. 
Catherine exaggerates Cecile and Ronald's relationship to Mrs. Caldwell, who then fires and humiliates Ronald. Sebastian and Catherine encourage Ronald to write a letter to Cecile despite his fears. Sebastian convinces Cecile to come to his place to write a letter for Ronald. He takes advantage of her by taking inappropriate photos and blackmailing her. The next morning, Cecile lies to her mother about her disheveled appearance and goes to Aunt Rosemond's place. At Aunt Rosemond's, Sebastian's behavior makes Cecile uncomfortable, and she leaves. Annette and Sebastian volunteer at a retirement home, where Sebastian cares for a patient and reminisces about past games. On their way back, Sebastian tells Annette that he was bored at the retirement home. To cheer him up, she makes funny faces and holds his hand, showing that she has developed feelings for him. Later, Cecile finds Catherine at Aunt Rosemond's house and talks about her discomfort with what happened with Sebastian. Catherine comforts Cecile and suggests that she could learn from Sebastian to improve her skills for Ronald. She advises Cecile to practice with as many people as possible. In the next scene, Cecile and Sebastian are in bed together. Cecile wants to talk, but Sebastian dismisses her, saying it's time for quiet. He then uses binoculars to look at Annette, who is reading a book. Catherine takes the binoculars, looks at Annette, and then invites Sebastian for a ride in her new car, since he hasn't succeeded with Annette yet. Sebastian insists he hasn't lost the bet and will win it and Catherine. Sebastian goes to Annette and starts kissing her gently. She responds at first, but then pushes him away. Sebastian, frustrated, asks if she likes him. Annette admits she does have feelings for him, but is not ready to trust him completely. Sebastian, feeling defeated, says goodbye to Annette, trying to convince her that he is the right person for her. Annette, realizing her own feelings, offers herself to him, but he declines. Upset, Annette leaves for a friend's parents' hotel. Sebastian, learning where Annette has gone, searches for her. Greg tells him she's at the subway station. Sebastian finds Annette, and they share a heartfelt moment. Sebastian then goes to Catherine's place, finding her partially dressed and Ronald hiding under the bed. Ronald quickly leaves. Catherine offers herself to Sebastian as he won the bet, but he refuses, saying he's not interested. He has fallen in love with Annette and only wants her. Catherine, angry, threatens to tell Annette's father about Sebastian's reputation. She warns that this could damage Annette's reputation and ruin her standing. Fearing the consequences, Sebastian decides to end things with Annette. He tells her that she was just a challenge to him, though he is clearly upset. Back at Catherine's, Sebastian pretends to celebrate. Catherine reveals that she manipulated him into breaking up with Annette because she knew he was in love with her from the start. She calls him a loser and declares her victory. Sebastian desperately wanted to talk to Annette but couldn't find her anywhere. He left his diary at the hotel, hoping Annette would receive it. Annette finds the diary at her apartment and starts reading it. The diary contains Sebastian's confessions, including his love for Annette and his own acknowledgement that he takes pleasure in others' suffering. He admits that losing Annette, the first person he truly loved, is a cruel twist of fate. Sebastian waits outside Annette's apartment all night. Meanwhile, Catherine calls Ronald and tells him that Sebastian attacked her and then left. She invites Ronald over to discuss Cecile. Ronald, upset about Sebastian's actions towards Cecile, goes looking for him. Ronald finds Sebastian near Annette's place, and they start to fight. Annette, who had been following Sebastian after reading his confession of love, tries to intervene but is struck by Ronald and falls onto the road. As a car approaches Annette, Sebastian rushes in to push her out of the way. In doing so, he crashes into the car's windshield and is severely injured. The scene shifts to the start of the school year. The headmaster gives a speech, which doubles as a memorial for Sebastian. Meanwhile, Catherine is in the restroom using drugs when Annette arrives and sarcastically offers her condolences for her brother. When Catherine returns to the hall to give her own speech, she notices that the students are leaving. She follows them and discovers that Cecile is handing out copies of Sebastian's diary which includes personal details about Catherine as well. The headmaster finds Catherine's drugs hidden in her clothing and confiscates them. Catherine, devastated by the loss of her hard-earned reputation, is left in tears. The film ends with Annette driving down a road, wearing Sebastian's sunglasses and reflecting on their time together. Thanks for tuning in. 
Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and stay connected with us.